A pickled cucumber commonly known as a pickle in the United States and Canada and a gherkin in Britain, Ireland, Australia, South Africa and New Zealand is a cucumber that has been pickled in a brine, vinegar, or other solution and left to ferment for a period of time, by either immersing the cucumbers in an acidic solution or through souring by lacto-fermentation. Pickled cucumbers are often part of mixed pickles. Origins in history It is often claimed that pickled cucumbers were first developed for workers building the Great Wall of China in 2000–3000 BC, though another hypothesis is that they were first made in the Tigris Valley of Mesopotamia, using cucumbers brought originally from India. Types. Gherkin A gherkin is a variety of cucumber, the West Indian or Burr gherkin Cucumis angaria, which produces a somewhat smaller fruit than the garden cucumber Cucumis sativus. Gherkins are cooked, eaten raw, or used as pickles. Gherkins are usually picked when 4 to 8 cm in, in length and pickled in jars or cans with vinegar often flavored with herbs, particularly dill, hence, dill pickle, or brine. Sugar is also a popular addition, in which case the label typically shows sweet gherkins. Topic: <inaudible> Cornichon. Cornichons are tart French pickles made from small gherkins pickled in vinegar and tarragon. They traditionally accompany pâtés and cold cuts. Topic. <inaudible> Brined pickles Brined pickles are prepared using the traditional process of natural fermentation in a brine which makes them grow sour. The brine concentration can vary between 20 to more than 40 grams of salt per liter of water 3.2 to 6.4 ounces, imp gal or 2.7 to 5.3 ounces, U.S. gal. There is no vinegar used in the brine of naturally fermented pickled cucumbers. The fermentation process is dependent on the lactobacillus bacteria that naturally occur on the skin of a growing cucumber. These may be removed during commercial harvesting and packing processes. Bacteria cultures can be reintroduced to the vegetables by adding already fermented foods such as yogurt or other fermented milk products, pieces of sourdough bread and of course pickled vegetables such as sauerkraut. Typically, small cucumbers are placed in a glass or ceramic vessel or a wooden barrel, together with a variety of spices. Among those traditionally used in many recipes are garlic, horseradish, whole dill stems with umbels and green seeds, white mustard seeds, grape, oak, cherry, blackcurrant and bay laurel leaves, dried allspice fruits, and—most importantly—salt. The container is then filled with cooled, boiled water and kept under a non-airtight cover often cloth tied on with string or a rubber band for several weeks, depending on taste and external temperature. Traditionally stones, also sterilized by boiling, are placed on top of the cucumbers to keep them under the water. The more salt is added the more sour the cucumbers become. Since they are produced without vinegar, a film of bacteria forms on the top, but this does not indicate they have spoiled, and the film is simply removed. They do not, however, keep as long as cucumbers pickled with vinegar, and usually must be refrigerated. Some commercial manufacturers add vinegar as a preservative. U.S. kosher dill A. Kosher dill pickle is not necessarily kosher in the sense that it has been prepared in accordance with Jewish dietary law. Rather, it is a pickle made in the traditional manner of Jewish New York City pickle makers, with generous addition of garlic and dill to a natural salt brine. In New York terminology, a full sour kosher dill is one that has fully fermented, while a half sour, given a shorter stay in the brine, is still crisp and bright green. Elsewhere, these pickles may sometimes be termed old and new dills. Dill pickles, not necessarily described as Kosher have been served in New York City since at least 1899. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Polish and German. 
The Polish or German style pickled cucumber Polish, Ogoric Kizani, Kwasani, German, Salzgurken, was developed in the northern parts of Central and Eastern Europe. It has been exported worldwide and is found in the cuisines of many countries, including the United States, where it was introduced by immigrants. It is sour, similar to the kosher dill, but tends to be seasoned differently. Traditionally it was preserved in wooden barrels, but now is sold in glass jars. A cucumber only pickled for a few days is different in taste less sour than one pickled for a longer time and is called ogoric malisolni, which literally means low-salt cucumber. This distinction is similar to the one between half and full sour types of kosher dills see above. Another kind of pickled cucumber popular in Poland is ogoric konserwawi, preserved cucumber, which is rather sweet and vinegary in taste, due to different composition of the preserving solution. Hungarian In Hungary, while regular vinegar pickled cucumbers Hungarian, yuborka, are made during most of the year, during the summer kvazos yuborka leavened pickles", are made without the use of vinegar. Cucumbers are placed in a glass vessel along with spices usually dill and garlic, water and salt. Additionally, a slice or two of bread are placed at the top and bottom of the solution, and the container is left to sit in the sun for a few days so the yeast in the bread can help cause a fermentation process. <inaudible> Romania In Romania, cucumbers are one of the vegetables used for muratori. Korean In Korea, oiji oeg is a type of jjanji salted vegetables. Lime Lime pickles are soaked in pickling lime not to be confused with the citrus fruit rather than in a salt brine. This is done more to enhance texture by making them crisper rather than as a preservative. The lime is then rinsed off the pickles. Vinegar and sugar are often added after the 24-hour soak in lime, along with pickling spices. <inaudible> Bread and butter Bread and butter pickles are a marinated pickle produced with sliced cucumbers in a solution of vinegar, sugar and spices which may be processed either by canning or simply chilled as refrigerator pickles. The origin of the name and the spread of their popularity in the United States is attributed to Omar and Cora Fanning, a pair of Illinois cucumber farmers who started selling sweet and sour pickles in the 1920s and filed for the trademark, Fanning's Bread and Butter Pickles, in 1923, though the recipe and similar ones are probably much older. The story attached to the name is that the Fannings survived rough years by making the pickles with their surplus of undersized cucumbers and bartering them with their grocer for staples such as bread and butter. <laughs> cinnamon pickle Bright red, cinnamon-flavored pickles produced by a multiday process are sometimes seen as a Christmas treat. They are somewhat similar to canned red cinnamon apple rings in color and texture. Topic: <inaudible> Swedish and Danish. Swedish pickled cucumbers preskurka are thinly sliced, mixed with salt and pressed to drain some water from the cucumber slices. Afterwards placed in a jar with a sour sweet brine of vinegar, sugar, dill and mustard seeds. Danish cucumber salad is similar, but the cucumbers are not pressed and the brine doesn't have parsley. The cucumber salad accompanies meat dishes, especially a roasted chicken dish and is used on Danish hot dogs. There are also long-time pickles, which call for some months of cool storing in order to be edible. In southern Sweden and Denmark a solution of water, mild acidic vinegar not made of wine and as clear as water, sugar and the top of dill plants, known as krondel English, crown dill, and a little salt. In Sweden this is known as adexgurka, English, vinegar cucumber, and has a crispy sweet and sour taste. Further north in Sweden some of the acidic vinegar and all the sugar are replaced with more salt. This is known as saltgurka. 
Both Adaksgurka and Saltgurka are used as a minor part of certain dishes. Topic: <coughs> Cool Aid pickles. Cool Aid pickles or coolicles, enjoyed by children in parts of the southern United States, are created by soaking dill pickles in a mixture of Cool Aid and pickle brine. Topic: <coughs> Nutrition. <coughs> 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 Like pickled vegetables such as sauerkraut, sour pickled cucumbers technically a fruit are low in calories. They also contain a moderate amount of vitamin K, specifically in the form of K1. 30 gram sour pickled cucumber offers 12 to 16 micrograms, or approximately 15 to 20 percent, of the recommended daily allowance of vitamin K. It also offers 3 kilocalories, 13 kilojoules, most of which come from carbohydrate. However, most sour pickled cucumbers are also high in sodium. One pickled cucumber can contain 350 to 500 mg or 15 to 20% of the American recommended daily limit of 2400 mg. Sweet pickled cucumbers, including bread and butter pickles, are higher in calories due to their sugar content. A similar 30 g portion may contain 20 to 30 kilocalories, 84 to 126 kilojoules. Sweet pickled cucumbers also tend to contain significantly less sodium than sour pickles. Pickles are being researched for their ability to act as vegetables with a high probiotic content. Probiotics are typically associated with dairy products, but lactobacilli species such as L. plantarum and L. brevis have been shown to add to the nutritional value of pickles. Topic: <laughs> Serving In the United States, pickles are often served as a side dish accompanying meals. This often takes the form of a pickle spear, which is a pickled cucumber cut lengthwise into quarters or sixths. Pickles may be used as a condiment on a hamburger or other sandwich, usually in slice form, or on a sausage or hot dog in chopped form as pickle relish. Soured cucumbers are commonly used in a variety of dishes for example, pickle stuffed meatloaf, potato salad, or chicken salad or consumed alone as an appetizer. Pickles are sometimes served alone as festival foods, often on a stick. This is also done in Japan, where it is referred to as stick pickle, yi ben zi suki. Dill pickles can be fried, typically deep fried with a breading or batter surrounding the spear or slice. This is a popular dish in the southern U.S., and a rising trend elsewhere in the U.S., in Russia and Ukraine. Pickles are used in rasolnik, a traditional soup made from pickled cucumbers, pearl barley, pork or beef kidneys, and various herbs. The dish is known to have existed as far back as the 15th century, when it was called kalia. In southern England, large gherkins pickled in vinegar are served as an accompaniment to fish and chips, and are sold from big jars on the counter at a fish and chip shop, along with pickled onions. In the Cockney dialect of London, this type of gherkin is called a wally. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The term pickle is derived from the Dutch word pekkle, meaning brine. In the United States and Canada, the word pickle alone almost always refers to a pickled cucumber other types of pickles will be described as pickled onion, pickled beets, etc. In the UK pickle generally refers to plowman's pickle made from various vegetables, such as Branston pickle, traditionally served with a plowman's lunch. Gallery See also List of pickled foods, list of links to Wikipedia articles on pickled foods Pickle soup Glowing pickle demonstration, ions within the pickle emit light as a result of atomic electron transitions.